Hi, welcome to Linda's Cake. Today we are going to look at how you can take some text and make it into columns. And I call this assignment the Combat Cybercrime Newsletter. So I'm going to open up my starter document here in Word. First thing we want to do is save this by adding our last name to the assignment. So go to File, Save As. I'm going to Browse so I can find exactly where I want to save my document. I'm going to put this on my desktop. Get rid of starter file and just put in your last name. And then save. We want to create a title using a preset heading style and center that at the top of our document. So our title is right here, Combat Cybercrime. This is our title of our newsletter. And right up here, you can see I already have some heading styles. I'm just going to choose this um, title right here, the title style, it's preset. And then I'm going to center that in my text. I'm going to create a subtitle with my name and my date. So the first thing I need to do is at the end of my title, I'm going to hit the Enter key to create my subtitle line. I want my name on the left hand side and then on the right hand side I want the date and I want to separate the two with the right tab stop set at the right margin. My margin you can see is at the seven and a half. You can see this up here in my ruler. If you don't see your ruler come up to your view tab and right here is where you can toggle your ruler on and off. To set my tab, I'm going to come over here in the paragraph grouping on my home tab, and I'm going to select this dialog box launcher right here in the corner. In this little paragraph box that pops up, I'm going to scroll down to tabs. I want my tab stop position to be at 7.5, my right margin there. I want a right tab. In other words, I want my text to scroll over from my tab. I'm going to say set and then OK. So now at this point in my document, I'm going to hit my tab key and it's going to go over, clear over to my margin. I'm going to start typing my date. And it's February and you can see how my text scrolls over from my margin there to the right. I want to shade my subheading and I want to create a top and bottom border. So I'm going to select my subheading title here. I want to shade that, and that's here in this paragraph grouping. Click on this little arrow right here, and I'm going to shade. I'm just going to use this Aqua Accent 5. And then I want a top and bottom border. So here in my paragraph grouping, I have my borders option, and I want a top border. I'm going to come back here again, and I want a bottom border. So now I've created my title for my newsletter and my subtitle. So now I want to take my text for the rest of my document and I want to make it into three columns. So to do that, I'm going to come up here to where it says columns and I want to be specific about my columns. So I'm going to come clear down to the bottom and choose more columns. At this point, I can choose three columns. I want the line to show in between my columns spacing I'm going to change this to 0.25 and I want to make sure where apply to I don't want to apply it to the whole document I don't want my title and subtitle to be in the columns so I'm going to click on this arrow right here and say from this point forward so that means my text from where my insertion point is to the end is going to be created into three columns say so, okay you can see now I have everything on one page. Now let's make a little more, some more changes to make it look a little better. I want to choose any paragraph in my document and make it stand out. I'm going to want to put a paragraph border around it and highlight it the same color I highlighted my subtitle. So I'm just going to select this paragraph over here. You can select whichever one you want. And up here on the Home tab, in my paragraph, I've got my, my little shading button. I'm going to shade that paragraph. And then I'm going to come over here to my borders again. 
and I want outside borders. And it's just going to put that border just around that paragraph just to make it stand out a little bit to my readers. Now I'm going to take some text and I'm going to make it into a bulleted list. So I'm going to start with the text partnership with owners right here. I'm going to put my insertion point right in front of that P. And I'm going to go down to the education about how the public can stay safe online. And I'm going to select those four paragraphs. And I am going to come up here to my bulleted list. And I'm going to select this drop down arrow. And we're asked to create a customized bulleted list, not to use the round dot bullets. So I'm just going to use this check mark right here. So it's going to put check marks by all of those paragraphs. And then the last thing it asks me to do to this is to decrease the indent so that my I want my bullets to line up with the left margin here. So up here in my paragraph grouping, I have my decrease and increase indent buttons. I'm going to decrease it and move that over so that it's lined up right there with my left margin. I want to bold some text to make it stand out. I want to bold this title and securing the cyber ecosystem. I want it to be bold. Responding quickly to cyber vulnerabilities. Bold and identifying cyber vulnerabilities. I want that also to be bold just so that they stand out in our document. I'm going to come down here to my zoom tab and I'm going to uh, zoom out a couple of times so you can see my entire page here. I want to change some of my spacing. I want to move my text around in my columns. So to do that, I'm going to insert column breaks in specific areas. I'm going to put one right here in front of this combating cyber threats. I want this text to be in the next column. Now, some people would say, oh, just hit the enter key, it'll move it down. I don't want to do that. I don't, I want the information to automatically go over to my middle column. That way, if I add more information, here in my first column, this is always going to be right at the top of my second column. So to do that, I'm going to come up uh, to the Layout tab, and right here I have Breaks. Underneath the Breaks, I'm going to choose Column, and you can see it moves that text over to the next column. I also want to put a column break before this identifying cyber vulnerabilities. So I put my insertion point right in front of that eye, and again, come up here to Breaks under my Layout tab, choose Column, and it's going to move my text over there. I've had students ask me when I'm grading this, how do I know that you only put one tab there in the subtitle? How do I know that you put in Column Breaks in our document? I download each student's file, and I turn on the Show Hide button to show your paragraphs. You should only have one tab key in your subtitle, not five or six. You should have a column break entered here at the bottom of your first column and the second column. So that's how you can create a text and change it into columns. It makes it a little easier to read. As always, thank you for joining me on Linda's Take, learning about Word. Please reach out if you have questions. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I hope that wherever you're at today, it's sunny.